What's up fellow journeyers? I'm Nathan and today we're taking you on three epic stops inside Olympic National Park. We'll camp just steps away from a beach for $24 a night, squeeze our Class C into a parking lot to check out one of the most gorgeous beaches we've ever seen. And we'll camp oh, together goodness. with friends next to a river for just $5 a night. If you're afraid you could never afford campgrounds or excursions when it comes to RVing, these stops just might change your mind. It's time to let go and get going. This campground has a lot of sites, and they're not, you know, they're not the roomiest I've ever seen at a state or national park. But I mean, come on, 24 bucks, you can walk to the beach. Now, if you get lucky on our way in, we drove around like D loop and I think F loop, and you can see some of these sites are directly like overlooking the beach. We're in C loop. This path right here will take you straight down the beach, like less than 60 seconds, you're on the beach. We went down last night and watched the sunset. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What a beautiful beach. What a beautiful sunset. It's just so different. Look at all these, all the driftwood they've got building things with. Oh my goodness. This west coast is just breathtaking. Think of the sunset action. Look at that. Wow, you can't even look at it. <laughs> it's incredible. Um, steps out your door. We're gonna go check out something called the Tree of Life that's here at our campground. It's right here down the beach from the main parking area. It's really cool. How is this even possible? <laughs> it looks like that tree is hanging on by a strand there. Isn't that cool? I think it's gonna fall. Wow, look at that. You're like under the tree root system. Look at that. What happened to the ground? How was that tree standing? I don't know. <laughs> That's amazing though. <laughs> I'll race you uphill. <laughs> oh! Picked up a stick, you're gonna lose now. Uh oh, uh oh, she's coming from behind. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Right on your tail, right on your tail. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, close. Was I way fast though? Really fast, good race. Was I way fast Good race. All right, you guys get this put up, we're gonna go. It was uh, pretty snug <laughs> getting the slide out right here. And in case you're wondering, you don't have to get the slide all the way out for most everything to still function. You just definitely lose a little space inside. It's a little bit tight as far as getting to the bathroom. Still squeezed in here. If anybody knows what these knots are on these trees, I just do not know. It's so strange. Hey, look at these spots. <laughs> like. You're over 25 feet. I don't know. It'd be tough in here. It'd it, be really tough. It actually said 21 feet here was like the majority, and there were only a few that went up to 35. Oh, really? Well, I'm looking at these spots. Yeah. And they're tiny. I mean, you're talking like compact car. If you had a large truck, I don't know if you could park in some of these spots. Yeah. It's, it's tight. Buckle up, enjoy the ride. Hold on. It's here and now. Is this Ruby Beach? Apparently a very popular spot and it looks like the parking I think we're hoping for somebody our saving grace and talked about this you look at all these RVs we can back into a spot usually I don't think this is looking good though this doesn't look like a back-end situation down here so Marissa's trying to convince his family <laughs> I hope they help us out or so because I told her I said this is not good we can only park in like maybe six spots down here all the RV overflow parking is full of compact cars I have to be on an edge there's just no way I can park anywhere without an edge and then there's like it's like vultures man there's another vehicle up here waiting to get the Jeep spot it's a giant mess so you got this white car waiting on the Jeep spot but we're gonna have this Subaru over here move to the Jeep spot so we can hopefully take the Subaru spot and we're gonna hope that in the meantime nothing bad happens that white car thinks it's taking that Jeep spot I think we can fit where the Subaru is at I think we can hang over and pull it off <laughs> All right, here we go. I still don't know if this is gonna happen or not.
What's dragging? Sewer's dragging? Am I gonna clear that back? All right. Oh my goodness, that'd have been so tight. <laughs> you really wanted this beach, girl, my goodness. Oh, I had to do some maneuvering of spots and talk to people. That was super stressful. So there's lunch. We didn't want to crank the generator and be that guy, so. Uh, we're already. A we're already that guy. Over we're getting here. a lot of finger pointing, but it's all right. <laughs> hey, we're just taking one site. <laughs> we saw people taking like 10 sites. Yeah, there were RVs taking like 10 sites as we came in. I think I got it on camera, but. Um, so JJ hums while he eats, if he likes it. I think that's hereditary. Is that hereditary? You hum while you eat? Oh, I was a kid. Yeah? How's your chili mac? How come you're not humming? Is that a thing? Humming while you eat? Yeah. Oh. Like, I don't know if it's just like our thing or if it's a thing. Comment below if you're a hummer or if we're just crazy. Cause I really want to know if people hum while they eat or if that's just like a genetic thing that me and JJ have, I don't know. Some people are genetically okay. gifted for jumping and running and math and- Humming. Humming is another thing you'd be genetically gifted for, I guess, humming while you eat, so. All right. This is why we like 25 feet. <laughs> we didn't even put bikes on the back. Yeah, we debated bringing bikes or hauling something on the back. We want to stay as short as possible for situations like this. This looks like a pretty cool beach. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty frustrated with the parking situation and almost tried to talk Marissa out of coming here, so. Love you love this place? It's like a giant playground, isn't it? Look at this. This is definitely unlike anything I've ever seen. Wow. Wow. Why is it called Ruby Beach? I don't know. Probably named after somebody named Ruby. Hey, my great grandmother's name was Ruby. She had red hair. Oh, so it's very special okay. to me. I okay. love the name Ruby. But wow, this is incredible. <laughs> this is one of the top places to stop and go tide pooling, and I can see why. This is incredible. I love just the anytime you got different forms of texture and color, and you got this greenery up here, and then the ocean right here. This is so beautiful. With a sparkle in your eye, forever young. Every moment this is life, take it as it comes. Jump up and reach for the stars, having no regrets, forever and ever, always young. Forever young. Forever young. Oh. <laughs> is here. We're gonna see what we can find. You guys wanna see what we can find? Yep. Look at that, Hensley. It's like, when is high tide gonna get here, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> <It's not too laughs> <-hoo. laughs> it's worth That'll it. wake you up. You wanna go look? They said there's sea urchins over here. I think they said this one happened. Yeah, there they are, you see them? All these, these are all, aren't these all sea urchins right no. here? What are those? They're mussels. Mussels? Those, no, down below. Those are mussels up there. What are the ones down below? Sea anemones. Sea anemones? <laughs> Okay, okay, don't hurt yourself. Here's a crab or something. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. So at low tide, which we tried to time right, you can come out here and you can see things you would never see <laughs> at normal or high tide. Um, and that's basically what we're doing, just walking around and seeing things that would normally be underwater or out in the ocean. Here's a starfish. Wow. What's up, fellow journeyers? We have some very exciting news to share with you. Our LJNJ Fall Store launch is launching next week, October 27th through November 10th. So we've got not just one new design, but two new designs you can choose from. You can choose the design on hoodies, on t-shirts, long sleeves, hats, like on all kinds of different merchandise. They're all perfect to inspire you for your next adventure. The store will be open for two weeks to make sure you get your merchandise in time for Christmas. 
Christmas, whether you're purchasing for someone else or buying for yourself. <laughs> now, you want to make sure you tune in next week for our video at 5 p.m. Central. For this reason, the store will be opening, but also we're going to be showing you a sneak peek of our new RV build. And it is, uh, we're, we're pretty excited. <laughs> we cannot <laughs> wait to show it to you. So back to some epic camping in the Olympic National Park, and we'll see you next week. The next campground we're gonna show you, campground loosely probably, more like dry camping, but it's, it's five bucks. And it's next to water beach-ish. A bar. A bar. We'll, we'll show you. We've heard it's really cool. Okay, so here's the thing about where we're going next. I've got my hat backwards because we're gonna have to get off-road a little bit. I do not know what this thing is capable of, how easy it is to get stuck. I can tell you our Viva, again, going back to Baja, <laughs> easily got stuck <laughs> multiple times. <laughs> and I don't have Stuart with me with a, <laughs> with a rope this time, so um, we're gonna do this thing. This is why I always say, always carry small change with you. You never know when you need it. I love this. This is old school. This is like when we first started RVing kind of stuff. Like you just pulled in somewhere, first come, first serve. And then you stick some money in an envelope and just shove it in a box. <laughs> like, not anymore, man. They got like three people patrolling the campground. You got to reserve online a year in advance to the second. <laughs> so I never would have known this was even here. We've driven by this. This is on Campinium, which is a great place to, to find these off the beaten path things. But our friends were coming over here and uh, they're like, come join us. Do you envelopes? Okay. Oh, so it's like a real deal. Oh, okay. So this is official here. Please pick up. And then you put the envelope in here, I'm guessing, won't we? Okay. All right. If you've got a big fifth wheel, I don't know how you wouldn't be rubbing on these branches a little bit. I mean, you can get through here, but. Our friends brought their toy haulers. Yeah, here. they had to rub some of this stuff. <laughs> Whoa. So what I'm looking for is, is everything four wheel drive or not? <laughs> and it does not look all four wheel drive. So I am gonna, I'm gonna have to use a little, everybody hold on, okay? Just don't know how soft this is. Where they at, Marissa? She said to the right. To the right? Yeah. I was afraid this is gonna be sand. It's not sand, at least. <laughs> All right. They got a hot tub out there. What? That is awesome. A hot tub? Yes, do you not see that? And they got the slide, the 30 foot classic with the slide. How are they boondocking with a hot tub? Right I don't now? know. They must have a pump and they're pumping it out and then they're heating it. If you got an endless a hot water. It's a propane tank. I saw a propane yeah. tank. Yeah. Forever young. So we're here with the Peoples, with Peoples and Places. That's their fifth wheel. <laughs> so, kind of jealous of the room. However, this is a pretty incredible spot. There's a random bacon here. Two. Oh, <laughs> guess what? What? You get to go backwards. So you that's like you went around the whole entire board. So I go here? to go here. So here comes the other family. There are uh, two families staying here with us. The way you get in here is, and this is Google Earth, like you gotta use Google Earth to get into places like this sometimes and really look at how, how am I gonna turn around in this place? Like when Riss is like finding the stops on the side of the road. Usually my first question when I have a big rig is like not, oh, can we get into it? It's like, can we get out of it? <laughs> And this is one of those situations. You can get in here, but turning around right here, there is not a lot of room to turn around. And it's pretty much a dead end down there. Like there's no room down there either. So what people are doing is they're turning around, you have to like turn to the left and then back all the way down on the right side, which is what the peoples did here. And that's what our friends are doing in the reflection too. We didn't have to do that, you know, 25 feet. That's, that's an advantage. You just, you just whip it around. The turn radius on this thing is pretty awesome. I'm going to say, it's at least close to what my Dodge does, maybe a little bit better. Definitely better turn radius, I would say, than a long bed pickup truck. I love it here. <laughs> I mean, when you can look out your RV and it looks like you're floating on water, those are like my favorite spots. Like literally, I look straight out and it's like, we're floating on water. And the water is my happy place. Like it brings me so much peace and joy. So I could, I could stay here a while. Yeah, I mean, honestly, we've just been relaxing, spending time with friends. Uh, the kids have been playing a lot of Legos. Playing <laughs> and like, in the water. Playing in the water. We just 
just relax. It's so relaxing just being out here. The left-handed, uh, you're warming up. That's a good call. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Who's got the best left hand throw? This is what RVers do. You should really be working, but we're all playing. can't really tell the difference <laughs> they both look the same one of my quirks is I don't like gritty things or things in my hands or my feet and when we've stayed on beaches or near beaches before like what did you say what was your quote about beaches it's like remember that one trip we took to the beach for two days and now we've got like 20 years of sand in our car that's how it goes yeah it's like you never get it all out it never <laughs> comes out again and so the good thing about these rocks is we are not dealing with sand yeah the kids are still wet i don't care <laughs> there's not sand and that is glorious oh uh, you can tell i've been <laughs> boondocking <laughs> it's rough <laughs> this girl needs some hookups soon um <laughs> I feel like meals shared together, food shared together, campfires shared together, like there is something bonding about food on the lifestyle, in this lifestyle, and some of our biggest friendships. This is a this is such a tip and a hack. Trust me on this. I know this sounds crazy, but it is so true. It's food that brings people together. So for instance, if you are looking to become friends with someone and you just don't know how to do it, invite them over for a meal. I'm telling you, I have seen people make so many friends on the road just by they're really good at making XYZ coffee and they invite people over for morning coffee or you know, some kind of meal, tacos. I'm just throwing that out there. Tonight, they are breaking out the hibachi grill and cooking some hibachi for our group here. Is this like your specialty? It's whatever, whatever one, one of them? It's one of them. It's what everybody asks for though. Oh, hibachi night? Yeah, pretty much. Is this like a boondocking easy meal or? Yeah. 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 I mean, it's like this gets dirty. I just clean that up and then it's like a few dishes and that's it. That's really cool. That's a good size Blackstone too. A little too big actually. <laughs> oh, you got that. <laughs> the <Robbie>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he was trying to get him with his uh, nunchuck yeah. skills over there. This is good. <laughs> this is your second time having this marina. I know. Do you not think this is true that food is the way to like make friends on the road and build community? Yeah. Yeah. It is so true. It's the only reason we have friends. <laughs> Honestly, the better way to make rice is to make it the day before and cool it and then put it on the then it's like sticky. Mm. Yum. That's good. Happy birthday, dear Abby. Happy birthday to you. Really? <laughs> Don't spit. Don't spit on our cake. What's your creation here? Dog food. Dog food? No. Yeah. You mix your cake and ice cream. Yep. It's like Cold Stone, right? <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen anybody do that before. Oh, it's so good. You're gonna do it? What if you just ruin it? Yep. You gotta be honest, too, Marissa. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you gotta really mush it up. Make it like pudding. Yeah, there you go. I already feel like I'm regretting this really decision. <laughs> you won't regret it. I don't it's think you had to mush it that much. I was just messing with you. It's not like mushy. You don't have to mush it. <laughs> no, you don't oh. mush it up. I was messing with you. <laughs> it's okay. It's like baby food. It'll be right, good. It'll be know. good. Go, I bet that. She's regretting it. No, it's really good. Ah, now now that, I'm torn. I don't know. It is kind of like Cold Stone. <laughs> yep. If you want to see more creative options where you can camp for next to nothing, check out this video here or the link below where we camp on a farm in Montana for free. And we score not only a free overnight spot, but a free overnight spot with electric. The windmill. The windmill. 
Oh, I thought that was coming at my head for sure. Oh, I feel like I should get out of the way.